In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, you are well. It is Tuesday, the 7th day of September, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. I am still addressing myself to the Catholic women, and I am giving you some outstanding qualities of a Catholic woman. You don't become a Catholic woman simply because you have got that headscarf. Or the dress that is embrisoned with the CWA colors and uh, you know uh, and other uh, in, in issues, but there are those things that make you stand out, so that you can be a good example to the other Christians. Yesterday we said that uh, we stopped at a place where we said that it is advisable. That you live a morally pure life. And we say that we would feel very bad if our women are the ones who are leading in all the bad behaviors on earth. Number seven is connected directly with the number five, and it is also another strong one that I love. A woman who is evangelically. Uh, the, the, the point is, uh, the woman who is evangelistically bold evangelistically bold you know what that means this is a woman who can fight for her faith in her church soldier of Christ soldier of the Catholic faith you won't tell us that you are a Catholic woman and the sittings that are convened to malign the name of the Catholic Church, you are number one. That is sad. Very sad. We cannot call you a Catholic woman if you are an enemy within. And we have so many of them. When the, when the church is being bashed, you are number one. When the Catholic priests are being bashed, you are number one. When the Catholic bishops are being bashed, you are number one. So the question is, then what are you doing in the Catholic faith? If you are tired of being a Catholic, we have got so many churches in this world. It would be very unfair for you to remain in the Catholic church and you are an enemy within. The Catholic church does not campaign to be loved, but we would want to campaign for holiness. We campaign for holiness, not to be loved. So, but then, we would also be very proud if our members are fighting for their faith. To the extent that if Father CK belongs to another faith and he is talking trash about the Catholic faith, you would be there, number one, defending your faith and defending your church. That is what we call evangelistically bold Kwa kiswahili, huyu mtu anaitua mtetezi. 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 Somebody who is bold and is able to stand and fight for the church. Very important. But it is very sad if you are in the Catholic Church, a member of Catholic Women Association, and you are an enemy of the same women where you are. You are an enemy of the same church in whose faith you profess. Something is wrong. So wrong. And you know that you are not catechized. You are well catechized. And I've gone through all the motions. But then you have decided to be our enemy. Please don't be our enemy. Don't be in the in the Catholic faith. Because there is nobody who becomes a Catholic at a gunpoint. No. You decided to be. And because you did, and then later decided to join Catholic Women Association, please, usigie pare ukue muziko kwao. Apana, apana, apana tafadhali. If you are the reason why your, your association in your parish is not stable, Take a bold step and step aside. 
and I want to say this a million times. The Catholic Church does not campaign to be loved. And we will never campaign to be loved. That is not our duty. That is not our responsibility. So again, we are also not telling you, we are not, <laughs> we are not begging to be loved. But we are begging to be friends of Christ. And that one we will do day and night because it is our duty and our responsibility. And when we are friends of Christ, then automatically we will be able to fit in in the Catholic faith and whatever association that we are in. We will do that. We would want those bold women, not just people who wear a headscarf as a sign as they, they are doing their other lives. No. We would want the, the headscarf and whatever other gear you have of the Catholic faith, we would want that to reflect what is inside. But we don't want a woman who is, I want to use this word um, um, artistically, a woman who is decorated outside with the Catholic colors, but inside she is worse than an atheist and worse than a pagan. Kafiri Mkosadini. Very sad. We don't want decorated, we don't want decorated pagans. A Catholic woman who cannot stand and fight for her faith, we call her a decorated pagan. Headscarf. Everything Catholic, but inside a living pagan. Very sad. Gracious ladies, if you know those neighbors in your association, please talk to them and tell them that Father CK has given them a new name. We are calling them decorated pagans. We don't want them. But we would want to preach to them. Because you know God, God loves us all. God loves us all. The Catholic Church is in the business of converting souls. And you would be happy to convert you, my dear lady. That we convert you. That you become our, our soldier. Be our fighter. Please, don't be our enemy. And those of you who are enemies within in the Catholic faith and the CWA Association, today I speak to you as your priest and servant. Please hear me out. We would want you to be afraid of Christ. Don't be afraid of the CK. Be afraid of Christ. When you are a friend of Christ, a true friend, a faithful friend, you'll be reminded that you have a duty and a responsibility to fight for your faith. Please do. Be number one in fighting for your faith. Be number one in defending your faith. Be number one in defending the other women. Please do. Because automatically when you defend your faith, you never want to hear the name of another Catholic woman maligned. You never want to hear the family of another Catholic woman destroyed. But decorated pagans will do anything. Decorated pagans will break other people's families. Decorated pagans will be in the sittings where other members are being discussed. Very, very sad. Very sad. Very sad. I'll pick it up tomorrow morning. May the Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Tuesday. Thank you.